build a switch and router network create this topology okay a router um, in my case 4321 r1 uh, switch 2960 switch s1 and devices uh, pc pca uh, PCB and the another side use a straight through cables to connect from fast internet 6 on switch 1 as 1 to PCA gigabit 001 on router to fast internet 5 on S1 and from gigabit 000 on router to PCB. Okay. This is the addressing table. Here all IP addresses. This is a comprehensive lab to review previously covered iOS commands. In this lab, you will cable the equipment and show in the topology diagram. You will then configure the devices to match the addressing table. After the configurations have been saved, you will verify your configurations by testing for network connectivity. The default BIOS template used by the Switch Database Manager SDM does not provide IPv6 address capabilities. Verify SDM is using either the dual IPv4 and IPv6 template or the LAN based routing template. The new template will be used after reboot even if the configuration is not saved. Okay, for example, on S1, on a real switch on real app, you can show the SDM prefer. And use the following commands to assign the dual IPv4 and IPv6 template as the default SDM template. Uh, go to global configuration mode with the configure terminal command and set the SDM preferred dual IPv4 and IPv6 default. And, and finally reload the switch. The required resources for a real app around there, 4221. In my case, I'm using uh, 4321, uh, switch 2960, and two PCs with Windows, uh, console cables, Ethernet cables. The gigabit Ethernet interfaces on Cisco 4221 routers are auto sensing, and Ethernet straight through cable may be used between the router and PCB. If using another model of Cisco router, it may be necessary to use Ethernet crossover cable. Set up topology and initialize devices. Cable the network, as shown in the topology, already completed. Initialize and reload the router and switch. If configuration files were previously saved on the router and switch, initialize and reload the, these devices back to their default configurations. But for example, from PCB access the router console from PCB use uh, the console connection to the router, okay, console, and go PCB and terminal, and okay, Okay, would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? Okay, if this message appears, that means this uh, router is erased. This router does not have previous configurations. Okay, and no, enter. Uh, figure out this. Uh, router has previous configurations. So how you can uh, initialize and reload this, uh, this
this router. So you are in user exit uh, mode. Go to privilege exit mode with enable command. Now just uh, erase a startup dash config command to erase the contents. Confirm, enter, then reload. Enter, enter. Okay. Okay, and this message means that the router does not have previous configurations. Now, from PCA, console connection to S1. Console. Uh, go to PCA and terminal and a real lab is TerraTerm or another and OK. Enter and enable to access privilege exit mode and use erase startup config start up config enter enter the let the VLAN that that file enter 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 and reload enter enter okay this is the way the, to initialize and reload these devices okay and configure devices and verify connectivity aside a static IP information on the PC interfaces Okay, configure IP address, net mask, default gateway settings on PCA. Also on PCB. Okay, go to addressing table. All these configurations on PCA and PCB, on IPv4 and IPv6. Okay, close the terminal and go to IP configuration and set the IP address for PCA is 3. To so net mask 24, that means 255, 255, 255, 0. Default gateway 1.1 and IPv6 address, use this 2001. DB8, ACAD, 1, 3. Column, column, 3. Prefix, prefix 64. Okay, the default gateway on IPv6, FE80, column, column, 1. And PCB. Close the terminal and IP configuration. IP address is uh, 0.3. Subnet mask 24. Default gateway 0 0.1. No DNS and uh, IPv6. Uh, 2001 DB8 ACAD. And column, column 3. Prefix 64 and the full gateway FE80 column column 1. Um, ready. Big PCB from PCA command prompt window on PCA. Okay, the Windows firewall may need to be turned off. Okay. Um, a real Windows PC. Okay. Uh, from PCB. Ping PCA. 
Okay, request timeout. Lost four buckets. Okay, uh, try to ping the IPv6 address of PCA uh, from PCB. Uh, why were the pings not successful the router interfaces the the full gateways have not been configured yet so layer 3 traffic is not being routed between subnets okay so that's why now configure the router okay uh, console into the router and enable privilege exit mode Okay, PCB is already connected using console, so close the command prompt and use the terminal to access the, the console on the router. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No, is the answer. Enter. Okay, uh, enable privilege exit mode. Enable commands. Now you are in privilege exit mode. Enter configuration mode. Configure terminal to access global configuration mode. Now you are on global configuration mode. Assign an, a device name to the router. Okay. Host name, for example, R1. Disable DNS lookup to prevent the router from attempting to translate incorrectly entered commands as though they were host names. Okay. So no IP domain lookup or also works with no 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 dashes okay will work anyway uh, assign class as the privilege except encrypted password enable secret class okay secret because will be encrypted. And this is the password class. Enter. Uh, Cisco, the console password, and enable logging. Okay, access to line console zero because it's only one zero. And set the password. Cisco, enable this password using login command. And assign Cisco as the BTY password and enable login okay uh, you can access the line um, the bty line line bty um, 0 to 215 for example and you have uh, 16 connections okay and um, password cisco then login to enable that password encrypt plain text passwords okay and you can Enter this command here or exit to go back from the line configuration mode to global configuration mode. And the password is service, service password encryption. So this is the, the, the command to encrypt plain text passwords. Okay, now. Uh, Create a banner that warns anyone accessing the device that unauthorized access is prohibited. Okay, banner message of the day. Okay. Unauthorized access is prohibited. Okay. Enter. Configure and activate both interfaces on the router. Okay. Use the addressing table. Two interfaces, gigabit 000 and gigabit 001. Configure with this IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. Okay, interface gigabit 000, IPv4 address, 
and I do one sixty eight and zero that one. 24 means 255, 255, 255, 0. IPv6 address. The global unicast address, 2001, DB8, ACAD, column, column 1, prefix 64. And IPv6 address. FE80, column, column 1. This is the link local address. Okay. And finally, now shut down to enable the interface. And go to gigabit 001. Set the IPv4 address 1.1 uh, to one, so netmask 24. And the IPv6 address, the global unicast. Uh, ACAD column one column column one prefix 64 and use the same link local address in this interface. Enter and uh, not shut down command to enable the interface. Configure an interface description for each interface indicating which device is connected to it. For example, go to gigabit 000 and description. Description. The description here. Gigabit 000 is connected to PCB. Connected to host PCB. And go to gigabit zero 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 gigabit zero zero one and the description is connected to facet net file on S one connected to facet net five on S one ready. To enable IPv6 routing, enter the command IPv6 unicast routing. Okay, exit from interface configuration mode. And now on global configuration mode, apply IPv6 unicast routing. Ready. Save the running configuration to the startup configuration file. Okay, but this command should be applied on um, privilege exit mode. So you need to exit from global configuration mode to privilege exit mode and copy ra running config to start up config. Enter, enter to confirm. Set the clock on the router. Okay, and also this. Uh, Command is uh, inserted on the privilege exit mode. Clock set. The hour, 22 minutes 40 and seconds zero zero. Uh, the day, five. Uh, January 2020. Enter. Use the question mark to help with the correct sequence of parameters needed to execute this command. Okay. Uh, for example, you you don't know how to to complete the clock set uh, command and mark question and says use the hour, minute, and second. Okay, after you enter the hour, minute, and second mark question and the day of the month, you will use five mark question, insert the month of the year, and mark question to set the year. Okay, very nice. 
ping PCB from command prompt window on PCA. Okay, for example, on PCA ping PCB uh, on command prompt ping uh, the IP address of PCB and close this uh, terminal and command prompt verify the IP address IP config. Okay, you have this uh, on PCB. This is the IP. Success. Okay, the first ping will fail for the ARP process. And also, you can see the IPv6 address for PCB. Okay, ping 2001, DB8, ACAD, column, column 3, success. And from PCB, you can ping uh, PCA. Okay, only repeat the previous commands, ping to 192.168.1.3, success. Uh, Ping uh, 200 db8 ACAD one column column three success. Okay, remember on a real app the Windows firewall may need to be turned off. Were the ping successful? Explain. Yes, uh, the router is routing the ping traffic across the two subnets. The default settings for 2960 switch will automatically turn up the interfaces that are connected to devices. And remember, there are two subnets. This is the... the third subnet. And this is the second subnet. Okay, two subnets. And configure the switch. Okay, a PCA is connected to S1 with a console. So console into the switch and enable privilege exit mode. Okay, go to PCA and close the command prompt. Then uh, open the terminal and enter enable command to access the privilege exit mode. Enter configuration mode, configure terminal and to access global configuration mode. Now you are on global configuration mode and assign a device name, host name as one, for example. Disable DNS lookup to prevent the router from attempting to translate incorrectly Android commands as to they were host names. No IP domain lookup. Configure and activate the VLAN interface on switch S1. Okay, interface VLAN 1. And set the IP address according to the addressing table. Use this IP address in this default gateway. IP address 192.168.1.2.24 means 255.255.255.0. Not shut down to enable the interface. Exit to, to go from interface configuration mode to global configuration mode and set the default gateway. IP default gateway and IP 168.1.1. Save the running configuration to the startup configuration file. So you need to exit from global configuration mode to privilege exit mode and copy running config to startup config. Enter, enter. Verify connectivity from PCA ping PCB. 
from PCA, uh, from common prompt of PCA, ping PCB, uh, 03, success, IPv6, success, from S1 to PCB, uh, from S1 to PCB, go to terminal on PCA that is connected using console to the switch and on privilege exit mode ping the IP address of PCB. Success, the first ping will fail for the ARP process if you repeat all attempts are successful. S1 is only configured with IPv4, so the ping using IPv6 will fail. All the pings should be successful. Display device information. You will use show commands to retrieve interface and routing information from the router and switch. Display the routing table on the router. Show IP root command. PCB and terminal. Uh, privilege exit mode. Show IP root. This is the routing table. This is the subnet connected to gigabit to gigabit zero zero zero. Okay, this subnet um, green portion. And this is the another subnet connected to gigabit 001. And this side, the yellow uh, portion. So C is for connected, connect, connected network. And L is for the local. So local is the IP address of the interface and not the network, not the network address. So is the, the host address on the interface gigabit 000. The same uh, way and the local, uh, the local interface is the IP address of gigabit 001. Okay, and it's not the subnet, it's not the network address, it's the host address. What code is used in the routing table to indicate directly connected network? Okay, C designates a directly connected subnet. And L designates a local interface. How many root entries are coded with a C code in the routing table? Okay, one, uh, one and two, two subnets, two directly connected networks. What interface types are associated with the C coded routes? For the first, uh, gigabit 000, and for the second, gigabit 001. Show IPv6 routes. To display IPv6 routes, uh, repeat the command with at IPv6. Okay, show IPv6 route to directly connected networks. This is the connection on gigabit 000 on this side on the green portion gigabit 000 and the network address on gigabit 001 here the yellow portion and local interface is the ip address of gigabit 000 the ipv6 address and this another is the local interface ip address on gigabit 001 Okay, it's not the subnet, it's not the network address, it's the uh, host address.
display the interface information on router R1. Show IP interface gigabit 001. Show IP interface gigabit 001. What is the operational status of the gigabit 001 interface? Okay, gigabit 001 is up. And line protocol is up, so that's why uh, this uh, this LED is green. What is the media access control MAC address of the gigabit 001 interface? Okay, try to find the MAC address here. The previous command was show IP interface. Uh, but remove IP, okay, show interface gigabit 001, and now this is the MAC address. Also, burn it in, in address this. How is the internet address displayed in this command? Um, show IP interface gigabit 001. This is the IP address followed by the subnet mask. For IPv6 information, enter show IPv6 interface uh, space. Repeat the command show IP interface gigabit 001, but use show IPv6 interface gigabit 001. And gigabit 001 sub line protocol is sub. Uh, this is the link local address for this interface. This is the global unicast address configured. And this is the subnet and the prefix. This is the network address and this is the host address. Joinet group addresses. So that's why on uh, routing table you have this uh, this route. Display a summary list of the interfaces on the router and switch. There are several commands that can be used to verify an uh, interface configuration. One of the most useful of this is the show IP interface brief command. The command output displays a summary list of the interfaces on the device and provides immediate feedback to the status of each interface. So apply this command on R1. Okay, uh, show IP interface brief. Now you can see the interface, its IP address, the status, and protocol. For example, gigabit 00 with IP addresses, status up, and protocol up. The same command, but for IPv6, repeat the command and add show IPv6 interface brief. Gigabit 00, link local address, global unicast address, gigabit, uh, status up, protocol up, gigabit 001, status up, protocol up, link local address, global unicast address. Show IP interface brief on S1. Go to PCA that is connected using console to S1. Enter, uh, enable to access privilege exit mode. Show IP interface brief. The switch has a lot of interfaces. From one to four, the status is down and the, also the protocol is down because uh, they are not in use, but 
5 and 6 status up protocol up okay because 5 is connected to router and 6 and 6 is connected to the PC and also VLAN 1 with the IP address is status up on protocol up If the gigabit 001 interface showed that it was administratively down, what interface configuration command would use to turn the interface up? Use the no shutdown command. R1, go to global configuration mode, configure terminal. Interface here with zero, zero, one, no shutdown. What would happen if you had incorrectly configured interface here with zero, zero, one on the router with an IP address of 192.168.1.2? Uh, PCA would not would not be able to ping PCB. This is because PCB is on a different network than PCA which requires the default gateway router to route these packets. PCA is configured to use the IP address of 182.168.1.1 for the default gateway router, but, it's, but this address is not assigned to any device on the LAN. Any packets that need to be sent to the default gateway for routing will never reach their destination. Gigabit 001 use the IP address 192.168.1.1 and Gigabit 001 is the default gateway for PCA. PCA uses the IP address of Gigabit 001 to reach other networks and internet and is 192.168.1.1. So on PCA, you need to configure the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Also, gigabit 000 with the IP address 192.168.0.1 is the default gateway for PCB, and PCB should be configured with this IP address. To reach the another network. Otherwise, the connectivity between the two subnets will fail. Uh, 